have a monstera and you just don't know what's wrong with it, let's go through five leaf browning that may indicate what's going wrong with your monstera. If you're noticing that the edges of the leaves are going brown, this is a problem with the humidity. It's not necessarily about having high humidity, it's more about having consistent humidity. I used to use a humidifier, which where, when I was using the humidifier, it used to pump up the humidity to about 70%, but when I turned it off, the humidity plummeted below 50%. And what happened is my Monstera Deliciosa never adapted to that fluctuations in humidity and it ended up with edges of the leaves going brown. And honestly, with these days, with the cost of living and the cost of running a humidifier, it's better to just ditch the humidifier and just let the plant acclimate to the normal household humidity. If you want to make sure that the humidity is a little bit higher for a certain period of time before um, letting it completely acclimate to the household humidity, you might want to use things like a tray of water and pebbles and place the plant on top of the uh, actual pebbles just to increase the humidity around the plant. If you're noticing that there are brown spots on the leaves and especially if these brown spots are circular and they tend to spread well, that's an issue of fungal disease. It's called rust spots, and that's a fungal disease, and it needs to be, it needs the plant needs to be treated immediately. Otherwise, the plant can actually die because with a monstera, it can be susceptible to fungal disease if there's not enough air circulation around the plant, if the leaves are staying wet for far too long, or if the conditions like during winter where it's very cold, the monstera are more susceptible to fungal disease. So you need to treat it straight away with a, a fungal site and also isolate your monstera because you don't want to spread that fungal disease to the rest of your plants. If you're noticing that the leaves are fading, they're kind of going a little bit yellow, the colouring of the leaves is not that lush green colouring, it's actually fading in colouring and it's starting to go yellow. Well, that's an issue of the monstera being sunburnt because monsteras have a slight waxy coating on it and it is susceptible especially to direct sunlight. Also with monstera, they live in the tropical rainforest. They, are, they do kind of grow up on trees and poles and so they do get a little bit of covering from the trees above. And so they are susceptible to sunburn, especially if you pop a monstera in the area where it receives direct afternoon sunlight. If you don't have any space in your household and you have to pop your monstera in direct sunlight, pull it away from the actual uh, source of the light. So three meters away from that direct sunlight. Otherwise, only give it morning direct sunlight where the actual sunlight is less harsh. If you're noticing that the leaves are going black, leaves are going black, that's an issue of a fungal disease, more like root rot. And what happens is that by overwatering a monstera, not letting the soil completely dry before watering it, it is going to be susceptible to root rot because monstera deliciosa don't like to be sitting in soggy soil. And the leaves will actually not even be a brown color, be more of a black color. So definitely check your roots uh, if you're finding that your monstera leaves are going black. If you're finding this content is helpful so far, help the channel out by subscribing to the channel and hitting the likes button. If you're finding that the leaves are going black before the actual leaf has uncurled, unfolded, then it's also a a indication that the plant has been overwatered, and it's a problem with really overwatering occurs if you're giving it too much water and not letting the soil dry or the other thing is that you're watering the plant but not draining out the excess water so not letting the water completely drain away from the holes in the drainage system of the actual pot and that means that the monstera is sitting in soggy uh, wet soil and it's going to be susceptible to being overwatered. If you're finding that the leaves are going brown and crispy, not just the edges of the leaf, 
any parts of the leaves, in the center of the leaves, it's going brown and crispy. That's an indication that the Monstera Delicia has been underwatered for too long. So it means that, yes, Monstera Delicia like to be uh, watered when it's completely dry, but leaving it too long before the next watering, that means the plant is being underwatered. It's not receiving enough water, and so the leaves can't survive, and so you end up with these brown and crispy leaves. If you have any tips of your own, leave a comment down below with your tips. If you have any questions for me about the care of Monstera Deliciosa, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll certainly reply to you. If you like this content, you want more, watch this video here where I go through five more tips on how to grow a Monstera Deliciosa. I'll see you there in the next video.